Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, Assalamu alaikum dear viewers. I am Professor Dr. Muhammad Usman and in this video we will learn about hypothyroidism. So uh, basically hypothyroidism means that there is decreased secretion of uh, thyroid hormones that is T3 and T4 from the thyroid gland. Now uh, usually this hypothyroidism it is associated with enlargement of the thyroid gland which is also called goiter. Now goiter can also be seen sometimes in the hyperthyroidism but hyperthyroidism is a less common cause of goiter. So usually the goiter or enlargement of the thyroid gland it is seen in hypothyroidism. Now let us see what are the most common causes of hypothyroidism. The most common cause of hypothyroidism is Hashimoto's disease okay? and this is an autoimmune disease in which uh, auto antibodies are formed against the gland and they initially cause Hashimoto thyroiditis which means inflammation of the gland. Okay? Initially there is inflammation of the gland and it is later followed by the fibrosis and destruction of the gland parenchyma. So uh, it will lead to the decreased secretion of T3 and T4 hormones. Then the next common cause of hypothyroidism is iodine deficiency and you know that due to deficiency of iodine the gland cannot synthesize thyroid hormones. This iodine deficiency is prevalent in certain areas of the world that is why the goiter which results from this iodine deficiency it is called endemic colloid goiter. Okay? It is called endemic colloid goiter. Then in certain cases uh, there is no uh, known cause of, uh, of the hypothyroidism and it is called idiopathic and the goiter which results in this case it is called idiopathic non-toxic colloid goiter. Now let us see what are the signs and symptoms or clinical features of the hypothyroidism. The most prevalent and the most common is intolerance to cold. The person hypothyroid person is intolerant to uh, cold. Then he has a receding hairline, he has facial and eyelid edema which is very prominent. There are uh, dull blank expressions, extreme fatigue, thick tongue, slow speech and a hoarse voice. Okay? And a hoarse voice. There is anorexia and in GIT uh, if we talk about GIT there is also constipation. Then regarding skin there is brittle nails and hair and also the skin is dry. There is coarse and scaly skin. In females there are menstrual disturbances like uh, polymenorrhea or menorrhagia. Then late clinical manifestations they include subnormal temperature, decrease in heart rate or bradycardia, weight gain and a thickened skin and there are certain cardiac complications. Now cardiac complications usually arise due to increase in the level of cholesterol because you know that thyroid is a cholesterol lowering hormone. So when there is decreased level of cholesterol, uh, when there is decreased level of thyroid hormones then uh, cholesterol level rises and it causes atherosclerosis and it is followed by usually uh, peripheral vascular disease and coronary artery disease. Then there are myalgias and arthralgias uh, and uh, there are muscle aches and weakness lethargy and in CNS there is depression, somnolence that is a tendency to uh, too much sleep, there are delayed tendon jerks and there is dementia. So these are the most common clinical signs and symptoms of hypothyroidism. Myxedema is a very special feature of uh, hypothyroidism. It is basically a special type of edema usually seen on the face under the eyes. Basically increased quantities of hyaluronic acid and chondritin sulphate bound with the proteins. These form excessive tissue gel in the interstitial spaces. So this is the interstitial space where is, uh, there is increased quantities of hyaluronic acid and chondritin sulphates. So uh, this is uh, uh, this uh, increased quantity of tissue gel when it is formed it causes myxedema and uh, it is immobile. So this is a non-pitting type of edema. Then keratinism 
is a uh, hypothyroidism during fetal life infancy or childhood it is uh, its most characteristic uh, sign and symptom is dwarfism and mental retardation okay the child is dwarf and mentally retarded unless the cretinism is treated within a few weeks after birth the mental growth remains permanently retarded then uh, the causes of cretinism include hypoplasia and mal descent of the thyroid familial enzyme defects which are involved normally in the synthesis of the thyroid hormones iodine deficiency during pregnancy intake of the goitrogens during pregnancy then there are some certain pituitary defects because pituitary secretes the thyroid stimulating hormone and sometimes there is no cause of the cretinism so these are the clinical features of a cretin child he is dwarf he is mentally retarded he is irritable usually and he weeps all the times then uh, there is guttural breathing that may choke the child there is protruding tongue uh, growth retardation is there with short limbs there is coarse dry and scaly skin lack of hair and teeth and uh, we have talked about the mental deficiency then a very prominent sign is pot belly and often there is umbilical hernia diagnosis of hypothyroidism is easy by clinical features and history uh, then if we go towards uh, these diagnostic test or hormone test then the plasma t3 and t4 levels will be low and tsh level will be high because there is no uh, negative feedback inhibition of the ts tsh because t3 and t4 levels are low so there is no feedback inhibition of the tsh so tsh levels are usually very high and bmr uh, uh, it is less than normal it ranges between minus 30 to minus 50 treatment of hypothyroidism is tablet thyroxine which is given orally and in severe cases injection thyroxine can also be given and also it can be given in emergency conditions thank you for watching today's video please subscribe to this channel stay blessed and allah hafiz